Hello guys and girls, it's I, Aaron Halo 18 here. I'm doing a video about a... Go to sleep. A movie review for Ed the Snowden. A movie that I watched last night with my dad. Last night with my dad, and I really liked it. I gave this movie a 9 out of 10, so the story was pretty good. My dad liked the movie, and he gave it an 8 out of 10. It had a lot of bad language in it. And a sex scene, too. It showed pole dancing and a strip club. And a strip club, I said. Snowden, the politically uh, charged, pulse pounding. Theodore reveals that incredible, untold personal story of Edward Snowden. The polarizing figure who exposed shocking illegal surveillance activities by the NSA and became one of the most wanted men in the world. He is considered a, a hero by some and a traitor by others. No matter what you believe, the epic story of why he did it, who he left behind, and how he pulled it off makes for one of the most compelling films of the year. The actors in the movies are Joseph Gordon-Levitt, uh, Timothy Olyphon, Shanley Woodley, Alyssa Leo, Zachary Quinto, Tom Wilk Wilkinson, Scott Eastwood, Logan Marshall Green, Min Scheinetzer, Lakeith uh, Lee Stanfield, Arias Evans, and Nicholas Cage. Uh, Snowden is a 2016 German American biographical political thriller for, uh, film directed by Oliver Stone and written by Stone and Kieran Fitzgerald based on the books The Snowden Files by Luke Harding and Time of the Octopus by Anatoly Katerin the cast I already said the Joseph Gordon Levitt was uh, Edward Snowden, and Chantley Woodley was his girlfriend in the movie uh, and in real life. And uh, the girlfriend was much prettier in real life than the one in the movie. Uh, uh, Snowden screened at Comic Con on July 21st, 2016. Before premiering at 2016 Toronto International Film Festival on September 9, 2016, the film was theat theatrically released in the United States on September 16, 2016, by Open Ro Road Films, and on September 22nd in Germany, it, sh it received mixed reviews and has grossed 34 billion worldwide. And this is from Wikipedia, uh, actually, that I'm reading this uh, stuff at. And the screenplay was by Karen Fitzgerald and Oliver Stone. It was based on the on two different books. And the music was by Craig Armstrong. Cinematography, Anthony. John Mantle, edited by Alex Marquez, Lee Parsi, production companies Endgame Entertainment, Wild Bunch, Corret uh, Pack Entertainment, Undy Entertainment, Vendanian Entertainment, distributed by uh, Open World Road Films, release dates September 9, 2016. I've already said the release dates for this. Running time, 134 minutes. 
This movie is uh, two hours and 14 minutes, I believe. It's only 14 seconds. So the country was Germany, United States. Language, English, budget, 40 million. And uh, box office, 34.3 million. And uh, part of the story says, in 2013, Edward Snowden arranges a a distant meet in Hong Kong with Dr. Documentarian Laura Proteus and journalist Glenn Greenwald. They discussed releasing the classified information in the former's possession regarding illegal mass surveillance conducted by the National Security uh, Agency in the NSA. In 2004, Snowden is undergoing basic basic training, having enlisted in the U U.S. Army with intentions of that are calculating to the Special Forces. He eventually fractures his tibia and is informed that he will be receiving an administrative discharge and that he may serve his country in other ways. Snowden applies for a position at the Central Intelligence uh, Agency, agency, CIA, and then subsequently undergoes the screening process. Initially, his answers to the screening questions are insufficient, but Deputy Director Corbin O'Brien decides to take a chance on him. Given the demands of such extraordinary times, Snowden is, is then brought to the Hill, where he's educated and tested on cyber warfare. He learns about the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, which circumvents the Fourth Amendment rights of U.S. citizens, to allowing warrant, warrant requests to be approved by a panel of judges that were appointed by the Chief uh, Justice. Snowden and his peers are each tasked with building a, a covert communications network in their hometown, de deleting it, and then revealing it eight hours or less with five the average time taken. Snowden impresses O'Brien when he completes the exercise in 38 minutes. Uh, meanwhile, Snowden meets Lindsay Mills the VIA, a dating website, the two bond, despite sharply contrasting political ideologies, Snowden acquires his first post aboard, working with diplomatic uh, cover in Geneva. In 2007, taking Mills with him, he meets Gabriel So, who has ample experience in electronic surveillance. Snowden begins questioning the ethical implications of their assignment. After your superior decides to set up their target on a DUI uh, charge in order to lever leverage information from him, Snowden resigns from the CIA. Snowden later takes a position with the NSA in Japan, initially under the pretense of building a program that would allow the government to back up all critical data from the Middle East, in an emergency, a program with his names, it's Epic Shelter, Snowden learns of the practices, the NSA and other U.S. government agencies are using not just in Japan, but in most countries the U.S. is currently allied with, which included planting malware and different computers that manage government infrastructure and financial sectors so that in the event that any allies turn against the U.S., that country can effectively be shut down in retaliation. The stress associated with the job results in the end of his relationship with Mills, who moves back with her family in Maryland. Three months later, Snowden has left his post with the NSA in return to Maryland, where he and Mills resumed their relationship. 
relationship, and he takes a position consulting for the CIA during a hunting trip. O'Brien reveals an operation. I heard a lot in Hawaii um, that resolves around counter attacking attacking Chinese hackers. After Stone is diagnosed with epilepsy, the uh, Mills allows him to join the operation for she believes the environment in Hawaii may be beneficial for him. Upon beginning his new job in the ter- in the tunnel, an underground World War II bunker that has been repurposed for massive electronic surveillance. Signet operations soon learns that Epic Shelter is actually providing real-time data that assists U.S. drone pilots in launching lethal strikes against terror suspects in Afghanistan. Snowden ultimately becomes disillusioned with what he is a part of. It accumulates and Snowden smuggling a micro SD card into his office by way of a Rubik's Cube. And knowing all re- relevant data, he then tells his colleagues he's feeling ill and departs. He advises Mills to fly home to Maryland, after which he contacts Burris and Greenwald to schedule the meet. With the help of journalist Ewan Mac Askew, this information is this disseminated uh, to the press on June 5th, 2013, with additional leaks published in the following days in the aftermath with the help of Mac uh, Askew, Greenwald, and Porterius. Snowden is smuggled out of Hong Kong on a flight bound for Latin America by way of Russia. However, the U.S. government revokes his passport forcing him to remain at Moscow indefinitely. He is eventually granted asylum for three years, with Mills joining him at a later date. The center continues. His activism. As Edward Snowden, Edward Snowden as himself, Channing Woody as Lindsay Mills, Melissa Lee as Laura Porris, Zachary Quinto as Glenn Greenwald, Don Wilkinson as Ewood uh, Mac Ass, Ass, uh, Kill, Scott Eastwood as Trevor James, Logan Marshall Green as Male Drone Pilot, Timothy Olivet as CIA Agent Geneva, uh, Ben. Uh, Schneitzer as Cameron Assault, the Keith Lee Stanfield as Patrick Haynes, Rifus Eifens e- e- as Corbin O'Brien, Nicholas Cage as Hank Forrester, the, uh, Jolie Richardson as Janie Gibson, Robert Firth as Dr. Stillwell. Development when Oliver Stone was first approached. Tell the film, he was hesitant at the time. He was working on another controversial subject of the last few years in the life of Martin Luther King Jr. with Jamie Foxx attached to Star and did not immediately wish to tackle a project as necessary again. He has been previously criticized for being too apathetic towards. George W. Bush, despite calling him the second worst president in U.S. history, only after Richard Nixon, in his film *Debut*2008. Nonetheless, a series of events and persuasion prompted him to finally agree to direct it. Glenn Greenwald, the journalist who worked with Laura Perez to break 
the snow and story asked him for some advice. A couple months later, Sarah's Russian lawyer, Anatoly Korbachi, contacted Stone via his proof, Patricia asking him, asking to meet him, trying to sell his book about Snowden. Kashmirin arranged a meeting at Moscow, a secure place that Stone would not review. It was a fictional book, but Stone developed an interest towards it and called it very Dostoevsky, in the sense that none of it is realistic stone. We did not know if Snowden would cooperate. Was undecided whether to make a fictional film with an unnamed character or a story as realistic as possible. Snowden began meeting Edward Snowden on January 2014. At first, Snowden was wary about the idea of turning his life into a film. Snowden went to meet Snowden to two more times, and then in later May of that year, Snowden finally agreed to the idea and decided, even decided to make to take part. Although he began involved in the project, he was given no script approval. Nor did he receive any payment for the film. Payment was instead given to the Guardian. Snowden had been a seen a piece of Oliver Stone's untold history of, of the United States. And was fascinated by it. Columbia Pictures Terry had the rights to Greenwald's book on the case. On June second, two thousand fourteen, it was announced that Stone and R.S. Borman had acquired the rights to the nonfiction book, The Snowden Files by Luke Harding, and that Snowden would write and direct a film based on it. The film on Martin Luther King Jr. It's a scrap since Stone was committed to direct Snowden instead. Eight days later, on June 10, 2014, Stone acquired the rights to another book, Time of the Octopus, by Kutchwaran, in April 2015, WikiLeaks revealed that Stone paid $700,000 for the rights to Harry's book. They had $1 million for the rights. Say, where am I? Good, good, good. Edward. Katrina's. Reveal a uh, novel. Stone used both books as the sources for his screenplay. On November 6, 2014, Overworld Films acquired the U.S. the U.S. rights to the film. While Wild Bunch was set to handle foreign sales, Deadline.com confirmed on November 10, 2014. The Endgame Entertainment had come on board to produce the film. And it shows a picture of Snow here with a, a black suit jacket and a blue uh, shirt with the glasses, of course. And below the picture says, Oliver Stone personally met Edward Snowden multiple times in Moscow and submitted time searching, researching what happened to him. Uh, pre little square with a box of words, and it says, It's a very strange thing to do. A story about an American man. This man will not be able to finance this movie in America, and that's very disturbing. So, if you think about its implications on any subject that is not overly pro American, they say we have freedom of expression, but thought it, but thought is finance and thought is control. And the media is controlled. This country is very tight on that. And there's no criticism allowed at a certain level. So you can make movies about civil civil rights leaders who, who are dead. But it's not easy to make one about a current man. Oliver Stone, director of Snowden, on the difficulty of making the film in the U.S.
uh, pre-production before production began. Stone and Colonel Levitt personally met Snowden in 2015 in Moscow, where he had been living in exile with his girlfriend, Kenzie Mills, since evading the U.S. government's attempts to arrest him for espionage. The U.S. government had revoked his passport, so Snowden was trying to reach South, South America. Corn Levitt describes Snowden as a person who is a keen uh, Philippe uh, Petitti. And Gordon Levitt played in the 2015 film uh, The Walk. Problems arose in Russia, however, as companies that were affiliated with the U.S. refusing to become involved in the project. And no studio was ready to support it. It became extremely difficult for Stone. He had to finance everything along with the producer. Eventually, financing came through from France and Germany, and the film ended up being shot in Germany as a German production, with contracts being signed eight days before our production began. Since the budget was too tight, Stone had to miss the funeral of his mother, who had passed away in America while filming with was occurring in Germany. Going back to America would have meant that Stone would have had to cut four days of work when he said he could not afford to do. Uh, casting. On September 21st, 2014, Joseph Gordon Levitt was in talks to play Edward Snowden, the American computer professional who leaked classified information from the National Security Agency, NSA, to mainstream media starting in June 2013. On November 10th, 2014, news confirmed that Gordon Levitt would be starring in the lead role on November 14th, 2014, Channing Woodley was in final talks to join the film. To play Snowden's girlfriend, Lindsay Sant Mills, on February 2nd, 2015, Scott Eastwood joined the cast to play an NSA agent. On February 4th, 2015, three more actors joined the cast. Melissa Leo played doc documentary filmmaker former Porter S., who filmed the most famous recording of Snowden. Zachary Quinto played Lynn Greenwald, the journalist chosen by Snowden to leak sensitive, sensitive information. And Tom Wilkinson played Ewan McAskill, the defense and intelligence correspondent for The Guardian, who helped report the Snowden story. On February 13, 2015, Variety reported that Ben had also joined the film. On February 19, 2015, Timothy Oliphant joined the film to star as a CIA agent who befriended Snowden before he left for Russia. And Ryus Ethan Simons and Julie Richardson are added to the cast of the film on February 20, 2015. On February 23, 2015, Nicholas Cage was assigned on to play the role of a former U.S. intelligence official. Keith Stanfield was added to the cast on February 25, 2015, to play a national security agency, a worker and a close friend to Snowden. For his role as Snowden, Joseph Gordon Levitt pledged to donate his entire salary for the film to help facilitate the conversation about the relationship between technology and de democracy. Filming principal photographer began, began on February 16th, 2015 in Munich, Germany. Shooting was underway in Washington, D.C. in early April and shooting in Hawaii began on April 15th. It lasted until 
April 18. The house used to be used to film is on the same street Snowden lived on. And the, at the end of April, Hong Kong press reported that crews started filming in the Mirror Hong Kong. Mirror is the hotel in Hong Kong. Uh, followed by outdoor filming in some old buildings in Tokawa Wan. Shooting lasted until mid May. Due to fear of interference by a national security agency, Snow decided to shoot the film mostly outside of the United States. We felt like we were at risk here. We didn't know what the NSA might do. So we ended up in Munich, which was a beautiful experience, Snow said, due to fears of the film leaking. Snow employed self described ethical hacker Ralph. H. Menda as a technical supervisor and made sure all cast and crew used a secure chat and file sharing program. Music, Peter Gabriel's song, The Veil, was co composed spe specifically for the film. And then released on February 20th, 2015, Open Road Films. So the film for a December. Uh, 25, 20, December 25th, 2015, domestic release date. Matthew would release the film in France on December 30th, 2015. The University of uh, Film would release it in Germany. On January 7th, 2016. However, in September 2015, Trevor Road moved the film from its December release uh, date to 2016. The studio did not give reasons for the delay. However, The Hollywood Reporter reported that, uh, that maybe it was because the film was not finished yet. On uh, October 7th, 2015, the film was set for May 2013, 2016 release. For February 19th, 2016, the release date was again pushed back to September 16th. The forefront of the award season, the official trailer, was published on April 27th, 2016. The film was invited to com compete at the 2016 Cannes Film Festival as the festival's director. Terry Thierbach, Thier Mukes, saw the film and praised it, calling it a really good film. And compliments Citizen Four marvelously. To help understand a lot of things, Muir Thierbach said he wanted the film to screen at Kenny's, but explained that the film's producers want to aim for the Oscars. So for them, a Kenny's premiere was a little too early. It was shown at the 2016 Toronto International Film Festival and at its European premiere at the 64th San Sebastian Film Festival. So I held a private screening of Snowden at the former home of Turner's Hemingway in Sun Valley for an invi invited audience of around, around two dozen. Tuning actresses Melissa Leo, who portrayed documentary filmmaker Laura Perez, is required to sign no disclosure agreements. The film received critical praise from the attendees, and one audience member was quoted saying, "What what did that what did that's so brilliant is he gave the kid this kid's whole backstory, so you really like him." The film had an invitation only screening at San Diego Comic Con. On July 21st, 2016, a second trailer for the film was released at the event. Box office, the film was released on September 16, 2016, alongside Blair Witch, Bridget Jones' Baby, and Hillsong, and Hope Rise. It was pro 
projected to gross around 10 million from 2,443 theaters in its opening weekend and went on to open day to 8 million. Finishing fourth at the box office, it marked the lowest opening of Oliver Stone's career for a film. Playing in over 2,000 theaters as of December 5th, 2016, Stone has grossed 21.6 million in the U.S. and Canada and 12.7 million in other countries. For a worldwide total of 34.3 million against a budget of 40 million. Critical response Snow received mixed reviews from critics, but Gordon Levitt's performance garnered critical praise. A review ad- aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes to film his approval rating of 62%, based on 211 reviews, with a weighted uh, average score of 6.3 out of 10. The site's critical consensus reads. It's noted about both a, th- a thrilling fact-based tale and a solid lead performance from Joseph Gordon-Levitt, even if director Oliver Stone saps the story of some of its impact by playing it safe. On Metacritic, the film has a score of 58 out of 100 based on 41 critics, indicating mixed or average reviews. Audiences pulled by Cinema Score can film an average A grade on an on A, A plus to F scale. Richard Roper gave the film three out of four stars, saying, Snow works best when it's just Edward and the three journalists in, in that hotel sweating it out, or when he when we see the pattern. Some events that lead to him to commit acts that exposed the shocking practices of our own government, but also quite possibly created serious security breaches. On 19 November 2016, during the camera camera image, festival cinematographer, cinematographer, Anthony Don Mantle received the Bronze Frog Award for his work on the film. Uh, Acc- 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 Acclades, awards, uh, list of awards and nominations, award, date of a cer- ceremony, category, re- recipients, result, refs. Cambridge, November 19, 2016, Ron Frog Award for Best Cinematographer, recipients, Don, Anthony Don Mantel, result, one. Satellite Awards, February 19th, 2017. Uh, Best Actor, Joseph Gordon Lovett, pending. Best Adapted Screenplay, Oliver Stone and Karen Fitzgerald, pending. Washington, D.C. Area Film Critics Association. Uh, uh, December 5th, 2016. Prince Patricia, Washington, D.C., Snowden, nominated, and the rest of the first one is 51, second one is 52, and then 53. That's it for my movie review, uh, I guess, I hope you liked it. It's a pretty cool, uh, movie, I know it's a little dark in the room, uh, back here. And, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed what I said in the uh, article. This is a really good, uh, uh, movie. And, of course, my dad had to fast forward through the sex scene. In the movie, uh, I guess. And I guess his girlfriend is a photographer. I don't know if she has a scene with her. A picture of her. Or uh, naked or something. I don't know. And yes, the movie is uh, rated R, uh, by the way. It's an R-rated movie. And uh, I really, it was a really good one, too.
I like those. I'm starting to like those true story event uh, movies. You know, those true stories are pretty good. The one before this was Sully. This is the other one I saw. Sully was pretty good, too. Both of these movies were pretty good. I gave Sully a 10 out of 10, and this one a 9. And uh, I really did uh, like it. They will probably be the last R rated movie I see, but because my parents uh, really don't let me watch R rated movies for, because of the, the the sex stuff and the bad language uh, mostly, uh, and sometimes the violence. But this, this movie wasn't too violent. There's no violence in it. I mean, they were sure like a drone attack or stuff, but, but that's not. Uh, really that the battle was mostly just the terrorist cells uh, that they were killing with it with the drones now they showed that in PG uh, yeah I know I kind of uh, tricked my dad uh, it, uh, with this movie I guess I really did enjoy the film I mean that's pretty much uh, everything I, I've said about it but I pretty much uh, told you every detail about the story, the story and stuff. And, and yes, Snowden is against. He even puts uh, a tape, a bandage on his uh, cameras, on his computers and stuff. And his girlfriend didn't really like it too much. It was very awkward to the true story. I don't know about the epilepsy, but yeah. I guess he has a. Uh, seizure problems. He had two seizures in the movie. Oh, one in uh, America, I guess, and another one in Hawaii. And uh, and, and his, uh, of course, his girlfriend helped him twice. And he was kind of getting jealous of 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 her uh, talking to another guy. Uh, they were like uh, some house party with all the people from his work, I guess. Then I, I guess uh, Snowden got real tired of the. NSA spying and watching everybody all the time. I think they, they probably still do that. Who knows? Uh, and, uh... I really hope they make more movies like, like these. Uh, these type of movies. I guess these were based on a book or something. That's pretty cool. Uh, I, I have to agree. Uh, this is my... I'm going to call it the Snowden Movie Review. That will be the title of this video, uh, I guess. That's a pretty cool uh, movie, so if, if it, when it comes out on DVD, go watch it. Or or even download it, or whatever you, however you uh, watch it. Just watch this movie uh, now, uh, I guess. I gotta go. My dad will be here, uh, I'm walking in any minute now. I'll, yeah, he's going to walk in any minute now. So, I just wanted to give you a quick review. And, and uh, please rate, comment, like, favorite, subscribe. Any thoughts and opinions. And I hope you liked it and enjoyed it for your viewing pleasure. Guys and girls. And stay tuned for more, guys and girls. And my favorite quote from Ghost Robo. Please drink some hot chocolate. And I'll see you all later. And this is Aaron Hale AT signing off. Um. Goodbye to all.